About five years ago, excited over the prospects of the Union government's deep sea fishing scheme, several fishermen in the coastal town of Tamil Nadu's Rameshwaram gave their trawlers up to be converted into deep sea liners. However, much to their dismay, they have now come to realize that the estimates drawn by the government were off the mark. Five years ago in 2017, the center launched a deep sea fishing scheme under its Blue Revolution initiative. Under this scheme, the government had promised to allocate 1,500 crore rupees over a period of time for conversion of bottom trawling boats into deep sea liners. While inaugurating the scheme, Prime Minister Modi said it would help fishermen to get better revenue and overcome the problems of fishing in the Palk Strait. According to the scheme, the centre and state had committed to contribute 50% and 20% of the boat's cost respectively. Fishermen were also promised a 20% of surety-free loans while they had to chip in with 10% of the cost. Based on this, fishermen had estimated to spend around 10 lakh rupees. However, in reality, a single deep sea liner costs about 1.25 crore rupees, thus putting immense pressure on the fishermen who have taken up this initiative. They are now being forced to shell out 50 to 70 lakh rupees. Equipment and diesel for these boats would cost them additional money. <laughs> About 32 deep sea liners are currently in operation in Rameshwaram. Many more fishermen had initially wanted to take up this scheme introduced by the union government. But seeing the plight of those who have taken up deep sea fishing, others are now fearing to venture out. High costs and lack of ports in Tamil Nadu are causing a huge setback for these fishermen. They are now demanding that the government take back these boats and give them trawlers or repay the amount they have invested in this scheme or at least cancel their bank loans taken up for this project. A Federal Report